I do think World of Warcraft suffers from very old school thinking. I think in some ways, World of Warcraft is still stuck in 2004, right? Uh, where th they still believe that the things that they did in 2004 should still wildly be accessible and successful and people should still love it. But then in other ways, Blizzard have gone a completely different route. And I do believe that a large reason for that failure ha has been the fact that Blizzard developers do not look at other MMOs when they design their game. And I have this, by the way, on very good authority from an actual developer in the game who told me, and this wasn't in response to a question of mine, th this was basically just them asserting, uh, we have no competition. So therefore, we can't look at other games and, and copy what they are doing because there's no one even close to us. So we basically just have to try new things and sometimes they work and sometimes they fail. And I remember listening to that um, and thinking, that's not the right way to think. Even if the game that you're looking at isn't as big or as good as you think your game is, right? It, 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 it um, you can always learn from other people, right? I, I watch YouTubers all the time, sometimes bigger than me, sometimes smaller than me. I watch them for inspiration. I, I watch them to learn something because sometimes there's someone that does something that's really good that I could probably incorporate to my channel to, to make my content really good as well. It doesn't really matter whether they're bigger or smaller, everyone can have a good idea. Even a broken clock is right at least twice a day, right? So, and this, by the way, wasn't just this developer's opinion. This is a develop. Th this opinion uh, have been regurgitated to me multiple times by a few developers. They do not believe that they have any competition uh, in the gaming sphere. Let's contrast that to the thinking of Final Fantasy. Yoshi P forces his developers to not only play Final Fantasy but also play every other MMO out there. They're forced to play MMOs. They are forced to look at what other MMOs do on a genuine, constant basis because how else will you learn? How else will you find new things to incorporate into your game if you're not looking at what other people are doing? Because contrary to popular belief, it's very easy to fall into an echo chamber, right? To, to reach this point where you you feel as if you have the best idea and therefore you have the best idea and now it doesn't matter what everyone else's ideas are because you have the best idea but now you're also only ever talking to other developers who also believe that you have the best idea so very quickly everyone has the best idea but no one really knows convincingly whether or not their idea is in fact the best idea and that is the issue right um, Esprit, I would like to tell you that, um, have you watched the, 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 the latest, uh, Allcraft? They spoke to Shroud, uh, not Shroud, uh, Summit 1G, who only basically PvPs, right? So Summit, Summit 1G only PvPs. In WoW, ESO, PvP is his bread and butter. Uh, he's playing Final Fantasy. He's doing the PvP in Final Fantasy. And he actually said in the old craft, I do not understand why people say that the PvP in Final Fantasy is boring. I've been having a ton of fun in it. He loves the PvP in Final Fantasy. The, the thing about the PvP in Final Fantasy, it's just not their main focus, right? So their main focus goes into PvE, but they did say uh, this was part of their Endwalker, the new expansion. They are actually going to start hyper-focusing on PvP and Endwalker to, to make sure that PvP actually reaches the, the, the level that they would like it to be in. So by balancing PvP and making sure that PvP works and, and, and sort of hyping it up a little bit more, right? So, yeah, um, it's definitely one of those uh, weird... Um, Esper, according to him... He loves it. I've not done Final Fantasy PvP, so I can't answer that for you, but he loves it. And considering I've spoken to quite a lot of people um, who absolutely adore the PvP in Final Fantasy, 
they, they play Final Fantasy for the PvP and they really enjoy it. Um, yeah, Summer 1G is a huge fucking MMO fan. Uh, like, he loves MMOs. The problem is just he, he... So he started with MMOs the same as most other people playing World of Warcraft. He hated... He hates World of Warcraft now. So he's he sort of tried ESO for a while. Uh, he's tried Guild Wars for a while. He got very much into GTA because GTA Online is similar to MMOs in that you play with a bunch of people and you're sort of, you know... Um, but then he also jumped into Final Fantasy when everyone was talking about it, and he apparently fucking loves it. So, you know, um, there, there is definitely that. So I would say, try it. Give it a go. It's free. You have nothing to fucking lose. Right? You genuinely have nothing to lose. Final Fantasy is free up until level 60. So you can jump into the game, level up to a certain point, go into the PvP, and, and go check if that is your thing and if you don't like it then don't buy the game you know don't pay for it if you love it buy the game and pay for it and you know, start doing whatever it is that you want to do i would say um but yeah until such time that blizzard actually starts looking at what other companies do they're gonna keep making mistakes because you can always learn something from everyone right 